In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get rid of a mattress for free, but at the same time, give you a way that you can help prevent mattresses being dumped illegally, whether it be in an alley or worse, in the bush or the forest. G'day, my name's Stuart Chignall and welcome to my YouTube channel, my eclectic YouTube channel, where I put all the stuff that doesn't go on my specialized YouTube channels. The other day, I went out in the forest with the family and we collected a, a trailer load of rubbish. And one of the things that we picked up was a mattress. Very common items to see dumped because they're relatively expensive to get rid of at the local tip or recycling center. First thing you need is something to cut the fabric off the outside of the mattress. Myself, because you know I love old tools, I have a bill hook and this little curved bit of the blade is really handy for getting in and cutting the fabric without touching the steel springs. You can get a similar shaped blade from the hardware uh, they're, and they're really handy too for this job. Or, but you can just use whatever you got. A kitchen knife will do as long as you're careful of the edge. All we're doing is cutting down the sides. This has been out in the weather so long I can just rip it off. I don't even need the blade. If this was a, a mattress that hadn't been left in the bush for God knows how long, you might be able to recycle the textile component because the textile component can be going to textile recycling. This packing blanket material that I've got to remove now is actually made from recycled textile. So if this hadn't been left out in the bush for God knows how long, it could be recycled. Again. But on the back of it is this plastic stuff, which is really nasty if this was to be left to degrade in the bush because all of this stuff just, it, it just immediately disintegrates into microplastics. So really bad. This fabric is, is stapled to the steel mattress. Now I can just rip it off, but if you don't have the hand strength, it's easier to use a tool to either lever it off or just hammer it off. You don't need a big hammer like this, it's just what I have in hand. Now just something I want to show you, word of caution, especially if you're dealing with a mattress that someone else has dumped or you're dealing with a mattress that you've maybe had in the out in the shed or the garden for a while. What could be living in it? Now when I first picked this mattress up, I was being very careful that there weren't any snakes in it. As it turned out, there were mice, which would have attracted snakes. But just taking it apart now, I have found those are red back egg sacs. For my viewers that are in America, you have got black widows and brown widows, whereas we have red backs, which are, well, nastier. I can't see the mum who laid them, but just be aware of that, what could be living inside the mattress when you're taking it apart. Now, no timber in this one, so I don't have to deal with that. If there is timber in the mattress or in the mattress base, unless it's incredibly old, don't burn the timber because uh, often those timbers are treated. If you burn it, you release all the nasties in there that are used to preserve the timber. Arsenic, copper, chrome, a whole bunch of stuff. Don't burn it. So what do we do now with the metal? Well, this metal is top quality steel. In fact, it's what's known as spring steel. Funny that, yeah. Spring steel is very good quality steel. You can take it to a metal recycler and they'll take it off your hands quite happily. In fact, if you've got a whole truckload, they will buy it. Now, the other thing you can do is you can keep them and you can reuse them. These, these mattress spring bases make excellent fencing panels. In fact, I'm planning to build a chicken coop and I reckon between this one and a few of the other mattresses I've seen out in the bush, I can, I'll have enough for my chicken run. And that means I'll get my own eggs, my own chooks, that'll be cool. Uh, and I won't have to pay for the fencing panels, I'll be repurposing something. And that means that the only thing I have to get rid of is the foam and the textiles. This has taken me well, 25 minutes to do. And that includes the time I spent stopping to talk to you guys, moving cameras around, changing angles of shots and stuff. If you were just to get into it and just get it done, 10, let's say 15 minutes conservatively. And this is the point that I want you guys to understand. You guys aren't really my target audience. If enough people see it, if it gets to the point where not just that, not so much the video is being shared all over the place, but the information that it only takes 10 to 15 minutes to break a mattress down and then you can get rid of it for free, then people who are poor 
or irresponsible will be less likely to dump their mattresses in the bush or down the canal or wherever. And that's going to be very good for the environment. Because this mattress that was dumped and left to rot and, and having been out in the sun and the weather for so long has been breaking down. All these little microplastics end up in the waterways, in the food chain. And so any mattress that you and I, by working together, me doing the video and you guys sharing it, any mattress that we can prevent from being dumped illegally is going to be a win for the environment. So please, please share this video or just share the information. If you're a YouTuber, do your own, just copy off what I've done. Do your own video and send it out, especially if you've got more subscribers than me because I don't have many. So hope you enjoyed, hope you find it useful, hope you share it, get the information out there and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye. One little extra thing is especially if it's been out in the weather for a while, make sure you fold the edges of the frayed plastics into the center of the bundle because if you were just to put that on the trailer, then all those little plastics would be thrown around or blown over the place.